I don't suppose you know if orcs can grow hair, like me, with a beard and some hair under this hat. Oh, look at that. The reason I ask should become apparent in this video. So back in the day, you would have space orcs, and these space orcs were just raiders, or space orcs. This was before the days of the orc clans. This was the old hammer days. I think they were more sort of mercenaries or pirates back then, as opposed to your organised clan structure of today. Because they were all in some sort of mercenary group, they all looked kind of the same. There were no uh, differing colour schemes, you know, like your yellow bad moons or your orange evil suns. This apparently is a sun. There were absolutely loads of metal orc miniatures released back in the day. And all of them, I have to admit, were pretty damn good. So let's jump in and have a look at some of those old miniatures. Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader. Like it! Alrighty, everybody, let's check out some space orcs. So these space orcs were sculpted by the best orc sculptor, Kevin Adams. There were 36 of them available in this release, I think. I might have to recount them. Now, these Space Orcs were released in October of 1988, and they would set you back £2.50 for four metal miniatures. Yes, four. Now, that's a bargain, eh? Now, normally, I would tell you the release or ordering code, but sadly, this time, I don't seem to be able to find it, which is very strange. Anyway, we have a lot of these to get through, so let's get cracking. Our first orc would like to be a ninja. The way he's holding his strange-looking sword gives me those 80s ninja vibes. He also appears to be carrying some sort of bolter or bolt pistol, but from the angle I can't see it very well. Our next orc looks like a convict. He's wearing prison overalls from what you might see in the movies, you know, with uh, little logos on, such as arrows and the like. Also, I can't tell if he's chewing on a cigar or if that's part of the weapon that he's holding. I can't even tell what weapon that is. I'm going to assume it's a bolter. Now someone tell your nanny we found her pillow. It's on this orc's shoulder pad. Now that's one hell of an 80s shoulder pad, isn't it? And I have to admit, I quite like it. Also, he has a metal pointy helmet. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before, but I feel we need to. Now, I have to admit, the last time I saw someone wearing a helmet with a metal pointy top on, or the whole helmet was metal with a pointy top, was when I saw the movie Signs, when Joaquin Phoenix has a tinfoil hat, and the uh, alien walked past the window. That looked more like Bruce Forsyth, I think. Nice to see you, to see you. Nice is the answer. Now, sadly, this next orc looks like someone spewed some sort of cheese and brown sauce slop over his head. Either that or it's some sort of camouflage. He has a hugely thick wrist sweatband, which looks like something maybe Bon Jovi would have worn. He's living on a prayer indeed. Now, this is a proper orc. He has a stick grenade thing for throwing and a teeny tiny face on his belt buckle. It looks like the face thing from Super Mario Bros. 2 that would chase you around the room. I forget the name of that thing. He also has the 50-50 halved face paint style that was used in the original Space Orc Raiders box set paint job, so they get extra points for that. Conan, what is best in life? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and wear the strange hat things from the movie. I'm pretty sure the monks wore this hat in the Conan movie. He also has a wicker basket for a shoulder pad, and a bolter that looks like a thermos flask or something. I do like those spikes on his knee pad though. Now this next orc is brilliant. It has the padded or quilted armour that I think looks great. Also, his bayonet is so long, it's touching the floor. I'm not sure if he's stroking his chin or if he's pointing at us. I feel I might need to see this from another angle. 
Hello, Baldrick. This one looks medieval. I think it's that helmet. It's very nice. Again, this orc has a face on his belt buckle. This time it looks like a little Gretchen head. The orc is also dual wielding bolters. Well, I think they're bolters. Orcs used bolters back then, you know. I think they've changed the name of them now to like DACA guns or something. Uh, someone let me know what the correct term is in the comments below, please. Now, back in the day, a lot of the armies in the Rogue Trader era had the same weapons. The Orcs had access to bolters as well as, as a sub pin, as well as the Marines, not pins. I think you had squats had access to las guns, much like the Imperial Guard. Did Eldar? I think even Eldar had las guns back in the day. Obviously, that's all changed these days. They all have their own differentiated weapons. We mustn't forget the Harlequins had access to the Land Raider, which apparently moves like a train nowadays. Soul Train. We could be dancing. Now, I love this orc. He has an awesome pair of ski goggles with a red tint and then bull horns coming out of the side of his helmet. I think it's fantastic. He's equipped with a bolter again with a very long bayonet. Crocodile Dundee would be pleased. Orky No Neck up next. Check out that pose. Looks very uncomfortable, doesn't it? He's almost stretching to look down his barrel. Again, I can't tell you what weapon it is, but again, I'm going to assume it's an orc-style bolter. An orky bolter from the period, which would make sense. Now, this orc is rather plain. Not like an aeroplane, but a plain Jane. And I doubt the orc's name is Jane. He has a lovely metal cap with no detail, but he does have a big pillow shoulder pad, again stolen from someone's granny. He's equipped with a bolter, of course, and this one has a smaller bayonet than the others. It's also got a circular twiddly bit on the side of the gun. I wonder what that's for. Any ideas? It's another orc with awful camouflage up next. The radiator water brown with black and silver stars. It's terrible, even for an old orc. He does have a cool metal spike coming out of his cap though, which I quite like. Now, the weapon. Are we going to assume these are all just bolter variants now? This one looks a lot tidier than most of the others. With a different camouflage scheme, I feel I would like this one a lot more. Now this one's great, isn't it? A multi-pronged metal helmet with lots of studs. He also has a maniacal grin on his face, which is brilliant. There's no massive shoulder pads, but there's a hint of that ugly camouflage on his sleeves. Disgusting. Now this bolter variant has a longer barrel than most. It looks like the neutrino wand from Ghostbusters. I forget what the proper term for it is. It's the proton pack gun they use. Someone will know. When I was a lad, I always wanted a proton pack from Ghostbusters. I remember the day when my parents took me around to buy one around the various toy shops. I think we were about three years behind the actual release date. Needless to say, we never found one. However, when I did see one, I found out when you pressed a button, they had a foam stream that just spun around like this on the end. So if I had it, that would probably get the snip. Did yours get the snip? Your proton pack, I mean. So anyway, I didn't get the proton pack. I ended up making my own out of a, um, a rucksack, no, out of a cereal box with some elastic straps. I think I turned the cereal box inside out and drew all the little proton pack accessories. I think I was quite proud of it. I even made the trap to catch the ghosts. Apparently that's like a Venus fly trap. Venus ghost trap. <laughs> Funnily enough, it's another orc up next. And again, we have a red tinted visor. I really do like these things. A red tinted visor with a trio of spikes sticking out of the top. It looks very cool indeed. There's a lack of big padded shoulder armor, but I think he looks cool regardless. This time, the bolter appears to have Captain Hook's hook stuck on the side. What is that, a trophy? Did this guy kill Captain Hook? Peter Pan would be upset. I love the mohawk on this next orc. 
I have a feeling I read somewhere orcs don't actually have hair but hairy squigs attached to their heads. Now when did that bit of fluff get invented? Or have I made that up? Maybe I dreamt it. He's also wearing that ugly camouflage but luckily covers most of it up with the big awesome shoulder pads. We can also see another obscenely long bayonet on the end of the gun. It's literally the same width as his body and that's awesome. Remember that cigar eating convict orc from near the start? I think this one is a re-sculpt, if you can call it that. They just added a hat. It does seem to confirm though from the angle that it is indeed a cigar that he has. He looks less like a convict with the baseball cap. Now someone once asked me why orcs wear baseball caps and I've never really thought about it. Do any of you guys have any ideas? Now do blood axe orcs still wear baseball caps like this one that I've got on now? And if they do, why are they wearing baseball caps? Why do orcs wear baseball caps? I think the real term is actually a forage cap. I don't know why it's a forage cap. I've just heard that term out in the mists of time somewhere. We've got 7% storage left, we better move on. This orc looks like he might be the boss, and I think it's because he's wearing a Super Mario hat. It's a me, Super Orc Brothers. He's well off enough to own metal shoulder pads instead of Granny's pillows, which must be nice for him. Again, he appears to be dual wielding pistols, although the way he's standing, they could perhaps be axes. I don't actually know. This orc seems a bit smaller than most. Maybe he's a juve or still a Gretchen. Are Gretchen young or baby orcs? I thought a baby orc was a snotling. He has a wonderful red mohawk, something I feel people today should have more of, and either big spiky knee pads or spiky boot tops. I can't tell which of those they might be. This time, the weapon doesn't look like a bolter, but might actually be a plasma gun. What do you think? Ugh, it's more of that tan coloured camouflage. If I get any of these miniatures, I will not be using this scheme. He does have the awesome red tinted visor though, so that's a bonus. I can't tell what's on top of his head. Could be a bolt pistol. Also, his weapon is very small, if even a weapon at all. What's going on there? This orc has a nice different sculpt, different to what we've seen so far. He does have a nice little red mohawk though which we have seen before. He has some stripes on his face which could either be face paint or scars. What do you guys think they are? However, what amuses me most is his one massive foot. It looks swollen up. Maybe he dropped something on it. Also again, the weapon looks a bit odd. I think that's a lot of the reason I like a lot of the Rogue Trader era miniatures because all the sculpts are very varied and different. Nothing was exactly locked in and cookie cuttered like it can be today. What do you think? Is that good or bad? Why is there a Coke can behind me? Get that out of shot. I'll have a swig before we put it away. It's flat. Now this orc would be brilliant if he didn't have the ugly 80s camouflage. He does have the cool little face belt buckle. I fancy getting one of those for myself. He has Granny's pillow shoulder pads, a bolter and one of those throwing stick bombs. Is there a proper term for these type of stick grenades? I'm sure someone will let us all know. Now this orc is very happy and I'm happy for him. He has two massive lower teeth, which I don't think we see much of, do we? He's also wearing the awful camouflage on his leggings, which is a bit of a shame. At least his weapon is a nice consistent metal colour. Uh, well done, Mr Orc. Okay, I give up. There's going to be a lot more of this ugly camouflage, isn't there? This Orc has it on his baseball cap. I think the proper term for these is a forage cap. He has two lovely big metal shoulder pads and a bolter with a nice sharp looking bayonet. A nice classic orc of the era. A pointing orc up next. Maybe he's a character of sorts. You know, I've just noticed there's no names. When did the naming convention end? A shame indeed. 
He has an awesome metal helmet with a single metal spike, presumably for headbutting. There are some odds and ends attached to his belt that I sadly can't make out. Do any of you have any ideas? He's also armed with a bolter, and I recognise that for sure this time. Now this orc looks a bit smug and I don't like it. Luckily, no hat for him, idiot. He's got a lovely pair of blue shoulder pads which I do like, and a giant tie-shaped crotch pad in the same colour, and a bolter type weapon. All these weapons are very varied, aren't they? Ah, I think we've spoken about varied weapons before, haven't we? Bolters and bolters, las guns and las guns, land raiders for harlequins. Oh wow, this is a short orc. A shork, if you will. I love the red nub on his helmet. Do you think that's a lens of some description? He also has a pair of teal marigold gloves on, which look a bit like my washing up gloves. But the weirdest thing, I think, is that gun. The bayonet makes it look more like a bottle opener. Interesting indeed. Now, does this orc have a fat neck, or is that his belly? I can't quite make that out. He has a helmet that covers only half his face, a bit like the Phantom of the Opera. He's carrying a big old weapon, which again I assume is a bolter variant, but the most standout feature is his tattoos. We don't see very much of that, do we? Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Whoa! Look at all that red! Not only does this orc have a red visor, he has a red fur hat with a little nipple on the top. Looks like a Bassett's licorice all sorts. Damn, I haven't had one of those in a long time. Do they still make them? This orc has your typical padded shoulder pads and a typical gun. If it wasn't for his super head accessories, he would be very basic indeed. A commando of sorts up next. He's wearing a full suit of that shitty brown camouflage. On his head, he has a lovely lock of long blonde hair. It looks like an expensive hair squid to me. Squid. Good old autocorrect. I meant squig. He's got a lot of grenades and bombs strapped to him, a bit like Rambo or Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando. Funnily enough, I saw Rambo 2 last night for the first time in my life. It was pretty good. I really enjoyed the bow sound effects. <laughs> Now this next orc is a big lad. He looks taller than most. I guess he could be a noble or knob as it gets shortened to. Now around here, knob means penis, so it's odd to say it out loud with people around. Look at the size of this knob. Anyway, this knob has no helmet, which again sounds like an unfortunate accident, and only one shoulder pad. He does, however, have enhanced metal legs, I think, or they're just well armour-plated leggings. We can also see the return of some tattoos. Is it normal to have a tattooed knob? The camouflage again is up next, but this orc has an awesome headband. The only other person I remember wearing a sweatband well is Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits. Do you think orcs can play the guitar? I have to admit, I am a big fan of Dire Straits. I might go and listen to some more of those after this video. Now the weapon is being hidden from view by the angle, but I'm going to assume again it's a Boulder variant. So we are on the home stretch now, the last little batch of orcs. Shout out in the comments below if you've made it this far. You must be a serious old hammer orc fan. So this next orc is pretty cool. He has one of the Conan priest's hoods on again, which is interesting, and he's holding his sword in a threatening manner. Is it some sort of chain sword? Looks like it. And does this orc have stubble? What's going on there? don't think orcs grew beards. I'm surprised we haven't seen that yet, to be fair, bearded orcs. He's got a lovely Michael Jackson style red armband on his right arm. <laughs> and his gun looks like a flare gun or something. Maybe to let people know where someone wearing the awful camouflage is. Now when I do my airbrushing, I like to use a mask because it prevents you from breathing in those horrible toxic fumes and things which might not be toxic, just 
nasty. Don't want to breathe them in regardless. Anyway, I have a Moldex mask and you can see it's well worn because of all the primer dust on there. On the side here, there's some little safety information and it says, if you're enjoying this video, then please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. That means you, John. If you are enjoying the content on this channel, then please consider joining the Patreon, the link to which is in the description below or up here somewhere. Speaking of the awful camouflage, here's some more. I think I'm actually getting used to it now. What do you guys think of it? Is it awesome or awful? The stubble on the chin of this orc gives me the vibes of Brian Harvey from East 17. I'm going to put it out there and let you know I enjoy their Christmas single. I think it's called Stay. Now this orc also has the weird Ghostbuster proton pack style weapon. But don't cross the streams, Brian! Now speaking of Brian Harvey, I remember hearing how he managed to run himself over with his own car. I'm not sure how true that is, and I don't even see how it's possible. I guess it might be like the lawnmower scene in The Happening, where he gets off, keeps the car running, and lays under the wheels. Now this orc looks very tactical. He has some sort of logo on his baseball cap. It's hard to make out being very small, but to me, it looks like the Mitsubishi Motors logo. I guess it's probable, but I doubt that's what was intended. His gun amuses me. Looks like a model barn with a trigger attached. I wonder what that fires. Hay bales? I used to love playing on hay bales as a child. Did any of you? Another pointing boss style orc up next. Maybe a knob. He has a hat like M. Bison from Street Fighter 2, or Vega if you're playing the Japanese version. I'm sure most of you out there know they swapped the names of the characters around for the Western release. <sighs> the OG names make a lot more sense. Vega is M. Bison or Dictator, M. Bison is now Balrog or Boxer, and Balrog is Vega or Claw as the competitive circuit call him. I do miss Street Fighter 2, you know. Anyway, the miniature has a huge metal plate on his shoulder, but the weirdest part is his glove. It looks like flayed human skin. Has he ripped someone's skin off and degloved someone literally? Nasty. All right, so which one of those old metal orc miniatures was the best, in your opinion? I'm going to go with the M. Bison looking one because Street Fighter 2 was brilliant. If you want to see some more old Hammer videos, and I know you do, then check out the playlist up here somewhere. As always, thank you very much for watching and always remember to drill your barrels.